Alright, so what's going on guys? I'm kind of hey here. And today I'm bringing you guys some Gears of War 3 beta. I told you guys that I would show some of my Gears of War gameplay as I played some of the beta. I actually, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I first want to start off this commentary by saying that I am not a Gears player. And before you go ahead and say something like, Oh, you must be a COD fanboy. No, that is not true. I just, uh, I never bought an Xbox until early this year, so I never had the chance to play what I think to be is a wonderfully made game. I'm actually having a, a lot of fun experiencing some of my uh, first games playing uh, Gears of War, and, you know, like I said, I never got to play the game before. I actually, you know, I started on the PS3 earlier this year. I finally went out and bought an Xbox, and pretty much the reason why was because I was doing the whole YouTube commentary thing, and I figured... I could only benefit myself by having an Xbox and being able to play with my subscribers and just play different exclusive games and this happens to be one of them so today I got a, a TDM for you guys this is on a map called Checkout and I'm sure you know with the week this came out when the beta came out your uh, sub box price spammed with these and right now your price spammed with a lot of black ops because escalation just came out and everything and I actually just uploaded quite a few escalation games and I played tonight and I had some really good gameplays for you guys that I will probably post later but instead of uh, bringing more Black Ops I figured try something different. So this would be the first Gears upload I'd ever put on my channel and I first want to say that um, playing Gears of War it was a really hard transition for me as I'm not really a third person shooter. I've never played SOCOM, I've never played Gears. Um, I'm not really sure what else is out there that's third person that's uh, even somewhat popular or um, worth covering but I feel like uh, you know I kinda missed out and <laughs> it was a hard transition like I was saying but I slowly got used to it and I actually wanna say that I have just as much fun playing this game as I would any other first person shooter even though I don't feel as comfortable with it I mean obviously this game is all about cover system and I realize that Without teamwork and gears, you pretty much can't get much done. You uh, really have to, you know, move and congregate with your team. And uh, sometimes you even need, you know, guys to team up with you, even on, like, one enemy. Because once you put a guy down, I mean, if you're running solo and, like, right here, for instance, there's my first death. I uh, <laughs> I took that guy down, but then his, his buddy's just right there, picks him right back up. Now, if I were to have any of my teammates around me, and um, somebody to help me out uh, put it could have easily put that guy down for me and another cool thing about gears um, how they got the rounds in TDM where it's not just like okay whoever wins the first round wins the whole game I think it's very competitive that it's the best out of three so I believe in this gameplay here we take the first two rounds pretty easily I found myself having a really hard time getting into lobbies on here where I wasn't just completely getting demolished because not only am I new to the series I'm new to the controls and everything too and um, one thing I want to say is the top right where the reload uh, I don't really know what you would call it the animation or the the cursor or whatever that you have to line up every time you reload some of you guys that are actually gear players might actually watch that and see how horrible I do sometimes lining that thing up and I did finally find out that if you nail it right on the white when you're reloading, I guess it gives you like an 8% more damage or something like that. I'm not completely sure. I'm definitely not the guy to come to if you're looking for tips or um, any information about this game. But all I can say is that I'm having a lot of fun with it and it's a, it's a good experience. So this beta here, I'm not exactly sure how much longer is left on it. I want to say there's about a week left until this thing's done so if you're on the Xbox and you haven't tried it out yet I mean you could either pre-order the game at this point I don't really know if you can still get it through buying Bulletstorm I got the beta um, from buying a uh, Bulletstorm and then you know found a couple of my friends that had it as well and you know it's uh <laughs> this game is hard man and I should probably mention a uh, gun setup and all that kind of stuff like I kind of forgot I'm using the uh, hammer burst which is a single shot it's the only weapon in the demo or the beta that you can actually aim down sights on and it's it's not because I need to be able to aim down sights to do well in this game 
because it is third person and you know most of the time you uh, you just have to uh, shoot off the hip and use your shotgun and all those kind of things but um I realized that the hammer burst is a really strong weapon and when you're using stuff like the uh, what's the other one called it's the the Lancer and the retro Lancer the retro Lancer has a lot of recoil but it has a lot of damage and then the Lancer has a uh, you know less recoil but the damage is down that's pretty typical for <laughs> any shooter game that's usually how they try to even out their assault rifles and everything but I just find that I can do a lot more precision shooting using the hammer burst because that's kind of the the way I am I'm very associated with assault rifles and all those kind of things I realize how much of a role that the shotgun plays in this game but I'm slowly getting the hang of using the shotgun effectively um, you know anytime you get into a close range battle and you get a guy like right behind another clip spot and you're just right right next to one you gotta whip out your shotgun and pretty much <laughs> just go savage with that thing uh, at first I was just like aiming down sight and shooting but I've heard I think I watched like some uh, I've been watching like Biohunter videos because I feel like he covers this game the best or at least uh, the guy that I know that I actually know about that covers this game so you know, I've been learning a lot of tips from him and stuff, and I, I realized that you kind of have to pop fire the shotgun. It's better than if you, like, were to aim down sight and just hold it there. Like, for instance, right here, like this guy right there. I don't feel like I really would have got that guy if I was using the Lancer, or I just don't feel as confident. So when it comes to, like, precision uh, shooting, like this right here, for instance, this guy's cov uh, covered behind the box over there, so I figured I'd aim down sight. And <laughs> it took me... Man, I want to say I played like one or two full uh, sessions of this game until I finally got the controls down a little bit more where you have to hold A to sprint and when you're running you kind of just grab onto cover and you just, uh, you know, you can't really control what you grab onto. You just kind of like latch onto it and you move around. But it makes it for a, a very hard target for them to hit. So if your enemy just sees you just like rushing around, grabbing onto cover, you know, doing barrel rolls and everything like that, that's uh, the best way to move across the map and this team that we're playing here you can obviously tell that I'm not the best gears player but neither are the guys that I'm playing because if we could run this room like this bad then you know that they're probably not that great either right there I grabbed that uh that ink grenade or whatever I, I picked that thing up and throw it I think I did I actually get a kill with that I wasn't really sure but it looked like I did that was pretty cool the the power weapons that you pick up pick up across this map or all the maps are, you know, I haven't really used them that much. Um, I find that whenever you run into a team that really has got their power weapons down, like they grab them, they get there for you before you do, and they pretty much just rape the whole game. I tried out the one shot. That thing's pretty cool. Um, you only get a couple bullets in it though, so you got to really make them count. Um, I typically just like to uh, stick to my assault rifle, and my shotgun. You know, I I don't really mess around with the power weapons too much. Because, I don't know, I don't really want to say that they're cheap. I just have a lot more fun actually using the the assault rifles and everything. And if you guys are wondering about this game and whether or not I'm going to buy it, you know, I probably will buy it. Um, it's safe to say that I'll definitely buy this game when it finally comes out, I believe, later this year. And uh, expect more gameplays of Gears from me. So hopefully down the road I can get a lot better at this game. And, you know, feel free to leave some tips, some comments, uh... Whatever you can throw at me would definitely help me. I finished this one here with 6 kills, uh, 10 downs, and I think it said 4 deaths. I'm not completely sure. But, you know, I definitely got robbed of like 4 kills there. Since I got 10 downs, it should have been 10 kills. But as long as my team took them out, that's all that matters. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, please remember to leave a like on it if you can. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.